A drone battle in the air no longer surprises, but Ukrainian UAV operators demonstrate a high level of skill in combating enemy drones. According to Defense Express media outlet, drone operators of the reconnaissance platoon of the 130th Territorial Defense Battalion released a video showcasing a truly unique case where an enemy reconnaissance drone, a Mavic type, was shot down using a dropped munition from a UAV. In the spectacular footage, it is clearly seen how the Russian drone was completely destroyed by an incredibly precise strike while the Ukrainian drone continued its mission or returned to the operator. It is worth noting that shooting down a drone using a drop requires a high level of drone operator skill as well as luck, especially in timing, the moment when the enemy UAV is hovering in the air. Another important factor is that the enemy drone must remain stationary at the time of impact as hitting a moving target with dropped munitions is likely an impossible task. Drone operators report that this is the first confirmed case of shooting down an enemy drone using dropped munitions. In general, both Ukrainian military and the enemy are testing different methods to destroy enemy eyes in the air. Previously, videos occasionally surfaced showing one drone taking down another using the simple method of jamming. The Russians decided to test their first anti-aircraft FPV drones in this manner. The enemy collided with a Ukrainian Furia UAS, but they failed to shoot it down. The UAV successfully stabilized and returned, sustaining only minor damage. At the same time, it is worth mentioning that Ukrainian military continuously approves FPV drones and recently the Wild Hornets workshop managed to accelerate a drone to 325 km an hour, which not only enhances its effectiveness against UAVs, but also provides more opportunities to target enemy helicopters, Defense Express says. Recently, Ukraine has eliminated Russian soldiers on jet skis along the Dnipro River in a drone strike. Drones are one of the defining features of the more than two and a half years of fighting amid the Russia-Ukraine war. Hundreds of airborne drones zip across the skies above the front lines each day, ticking off tasks ranging from reconnaissance to targeting as well as kamikaze strikes designed to take out enemy armored vehicles, personnel and positions. Among the most famous are cheap, first-person view drones, well known by now for zooming over the battlefield and capturing footage routinely shared online by both Russian and Ukrainian sources. Often, the video feed will cut off sharply as the drone careens towards its target and explodes. According to a post on X from United24 Media, a video shows Ukraine's Operational Command South eliminating Russian fighters riding a jet ski on the Dnipro River using FPV drones. Ukrainian FPV drone operators have eliminated Russian soldiers on jet skis on the Dnipro River. United24 Media wrote on X alongside a video showing the drone strike. The Israeli army has been carrying out secretive ground operations to destroy Hezbollah infrastructure in Lebanese villages close to the border for the past year, military spokesman Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari said Tuesday. The military released footage of what it said were Israeli soldiers uncovering tunnels and weapons in at least three Lebanese villages. Hagari said that the current ground maneuvers in Lebanon are an expansion of the previous year's operations. He said that troops destroyed more than more than 700 Hezbollah sites, including tunnels carved deep into the hillside. They included separate rooms for storing weapons and what seemed to be bedrooms outfitted with mattresses. Hagari said that Hezbollah was preparing to carry out an October 7-style attack against Israel, based on the placement of weapons slicks and maps uncovered during operations that refer to a plan called, Conquer the Galilee.
RPG 7, RPG 29, המשגרים שלהם. ראי זה RPG את המובארי הזה? Heavy smoke was seen rising over southern Lebanon's skyline on Monday following Israeli strikes. The Lebanese health ministry said at least 105 people were killed around the country in airstrikes on Sunday. Two strikes near the southern city of Sidon, about 45 kilometers south of Beirut, killed at least 32 people, the ministry said. Separately, Israeli strikes in the northern province of Baalbek Hermel killed 21 people and wounded at least 47. Lebanese media reported dozens of strikes in the central, eastern and western Baqa and in the south, besides strikes on Beirut. Israel says it targets militants, but the strikes have hit buildings where civilians were living and the death toll was expected to rise. <laughs> 